guys, today we're going to be doing something um very different. I actually wanted to do this a while ago, but never got around to it. I want to look at your guys' confessions or art confessions or anything like that. If you guys don't know what that is, if you've probably been on Instagram, you've probably seen it. It's like where someone sends in something they wouldn't normally tell anybody if they had to like tell people who they were, but they're going to tell you now and we're going to hide their usernames so no one can, you know, bother them for their opinions. But again, this is not my opinions. I'm going to read off other people's opinions that they sent me about different things. So it is not my opinion. Don't think that. But again, if you guys want to send your um, confessions to me, you have to join my Amino and then you can write me there and say whatever you want. And if you want your username shown, you can let me know there. But if not, I'll keep it um, private just as soon as you send it rather than you having to tell me to keep it private. Okay, let's see. <laughs> this is going to be very interesting. I've never done this before, so I'm not sure what to think. Um, let's see, this first one here. Confession. When I was in fifth grade, I thought that I was the best artist in the world. Oh, wow. <laughs> I legit thought that everything I drew was perfect, and I was proud to show it off. I saved some of my old art, and I looked back on it this year and cringed. <laughs> the anatomy was off and distorted, and the expressions were whack. I laugh every time I see it, but I'm too embarrassed to show anybody. I have never had to actually witness this when I was growing up because I feel like I kind of was spared from it because I had older siblings who were also artists. My um, older siblings were um, also like real into art and they drew all the time, like my brother and my sister. So I'd always see their art and be like, man, I want to be like them. I always saw their art as perfect, like the thing that could not be fixed, which is also wrong because art can always be improved no matter where you are in art it's always able to be improved so that was the thing I always thought their art was absolutely perfect and I always wanted to reset that goal so I never thought mine was so that was one thing but again no one's art is ever perfect and there's always ways to improve so it's important to think that way or else you're never going to improve because you already think your art's perfect you know what I mean I mean <laughs> pretty sure that's how it works for my opinion anyway by the way you guys should let me know what you think about these um confessions in the comments I'm, ex I'm excited to see what you guys think um next one here my art confession is that I hate Sans OCs. Oh no, this is gonna be controversial. <laughs> oh no. Um, I love Sans from Undertale and I love his design, but it's just annoying when I see people making Sans OCs. It's getting unoriginal and it's boring to look at. I get that they like Sans, so just draw him. <laughs> oh no, they don't need to draw another design of him, but I'm not saying that all Sans OCs are boring or annoying. It's just that a lot of people are doing it. This one, I don't know. I'm like, I, I understand where like you think an OC is like strange because it's just like a ripoff of an OC. Like if you see like, say for instance, there's a Mario, but it looks like Mario, but his color schemes changed and they say it's an OC. I can understand thinking, oh, well, that's not really much of an OC because they just kind of <laughs> changed the color scheme. But I mean, I can understand that. But then again, I've never been very picky about that sort of thing. I think it's funny, like if it's like that, but I've never really thought about it. So I guess it could get annoying if you were like a, in a fandom and you, all, all the OCs were like copies of other OCs. But then again, there's alternate universes. Like there's alternate universes of um, Undertale where they have like technically Sans OCs or Frisk OCs and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't really know what I think about that. You guys have to let me know what you think. Um, next up. I just draw anything right, well, oh no, sorry, I, I just messed that up. I can't draw anything right while sitting down. I don't know why, but it always turns out really wonky. Yet, if I go plump myself on the couch and lay down, my art instantly gets 20 times better. Kind of weird, but whatever works. That is strange. Oh, wait, I think I know what it is. I think I know, wait, okay. Whenever I'm drawing traditionally, which I'm sure that's what you're doing if you're moving around, or you're drawing on a tablet, when you're sitting down, you normally sit it on a table. And when you sit it on the table, your picture gets put at an angle because you're seeing it from the bottom of the picture rather than seeing it from straight up in front of you. But when you lay down, you're most likely holding it straight in front of your face, like um, an easel would be. And that gives you the proper like proportions and easier to do that because it's standing right in front of you and it's set right up. But when it's laid down on the table, you're seeing it at a strange angle. So when you actually hold up the picture, it's going to look strange to you and be like, man, I don't like how it looks because you're drawing it at an angle. I don't know if that makes sense, but that was what happened with my mother. She recently started drawing and she was having the same trouble where she couldn't figure out why it would look funny when she like picked up the picture and whatnot. And I realized that because it'd be great to have like an easel or something like that to um, put your paper on. 
Um, here's another one. Confession. I used to make accounts just to comment neg negative things on my on my own drawings. Wait, you commented negative things on your your own? That, that's strange. Um, reason being that I used to be really unhappy all the time for no reason and thought nobody would view that as valid. Aww. So I made up an excuse that people were saying bad things about me and my art, which worked. But I used to feel so bad every time someone would message me and tell me it was okay and that my art was great, yada yada. Oh, that's sad though, because I understand because especially when um, I was younger, I would go through dark um, phases where I just feel down and bad and I didn't know why. There was no reason. I didn't have a reason why I felt that way. I just kind of did. So I don't know why it was. It's probably just because I was younger and I don't know, maybe I was growing up and I didn't understand it and I was just not feeling good about it but that was it and I didn't have a reason for it so I didn't know how to explain it to anyone for me I just kind of went quiet and didn't tell anybody about it but I can understand wanting someone to like know and know that you're feeling bad and you don't know how to tell them that when you don't have a reason so I understand that I just, that's sad though I hope you're feeling better next up here is I am secretly jealous of the beginner artists who get so many likes for lower quality art See, I don't think this way at all. The, the reason being, like, um, I don't think you can judge off of just what you consider better or worse art. I've always seen that way that like, art is in the eye of the beholder. I don't see it as like, oh, well, you can say that person's art is a five and the other person's art's a seven. I've never seen it that way ever, <laughs> in my opinion, anyway. But also, when it comes to people getting out and getting known online, it's important to put yourself out there, especially for commissions and stuff like that. So. Just keep putting yourself out there and try and gain your own audience rather than expecting it to come to you because it's not going to randomly appear. It's kind of like something you have to go out and keep putting yourself out there and try and do your best. Next up, I can't stand it when people comment feature this on a post, even if it's on my own. If you don't know what a feature is, it's on Amino. You can feature something and it goes to the feature page and it lets everyone in the Amino see it and like comment on it and say if they like it. So they're saying they don't like it when people say feature this, which is asking someone to feature something, even if it's on their own art. That's pretty interesting that you don't like it when someone asks that on your own art piece. I understand it if it was like someone's on their like on their own art piece and it's like, hey, feature my art. It deserves to be featured. Then I understand thinking, oh, well, they're a little entitled. But when it's on someone else's art piece, I couldn't imagine someone feeling that way. I mean, I guess if it was repetitive, but you think they would be nice. I don't know. I mean, I guess everyone thinks of it differently. What do you guys think? Next up here, we don't have much time left. I hate when people say they can't draw, but then they draw something better than my artwork. Oh my goodness. I know this so bad. Um, my sister was always really, really great at art. So whenever she didn't like her work, I always felt really bad about it because I was like, oh no, she doesn't like her work and my work is so much worse because she used to draw realism and stuff like that. And I thought realism was like, the pinnacle of everything and I wanted to be like her but whenever she d um, didn't like her artwork I always felt bad about it but then I realized that's just how artists are they're always not going to think their artwork's perfect and they're always going to find flaws with it and mention it and everyone's on different levels the most important thing is to compare yourself with yourself and not with other people because that's the only way you're going to be happy and realize that you're just um you're on your own place and you're on your own level and you're going to follow what you're you're capable of and like Whenever you draw something, your next drawing is what you're going to try and improve from the last one. But when you start comparing yourself to other people, that's when that's when it gets really tough. But that's all we have time for right now. If you guys like this type of video, please let me know and we'll um, try looking at some more. But again, send me your confessions up on my Amino and we'll see how that goes. I mean, it's pretty interesting to see what you guys think. But yeah, this drawing I did here was actually um, an adoptable for my Amino and it was bought by Alex Tyne, which he's a huge supporter. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. And there will be more adoptables up there soon. So be sure to join and thank you guys so much for watching.